the International Secret Police. Hello. 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 has been sighted on the Sahara near his headquarters, the octopus prepares his sinister death ray machine for an attack. He does not know, however, that the plane carried Carlos Del Valle and Mr. Buchanan, and that they have joined the caravan of Speed, Clint, Barney, and a few legionnaires disguised as natives, as are the police. A rising sandstorm hides the approach of the caravan from the criminal, and after halting the camels, we find the boys in a discussion in the little shelter they have hastily built for Mr. Buchanan. How do you feel now, Mr. Buchanan? Oh, fine, Barney, fine. Now, don't you give another thought to me. You boys have a big job ahead of you. I'll say so. I wish Clint had let me go with him. No, Steve, it's far too dangerous. As a matter of fact, no one is going with us. Not even the legionnaires who are traveling with us. What do you say, Clint? Isn't it true, Carlos, that if a caravan sights a sandstorm approaching them, they immediately establish camp to protect their animals and themselves from the wind and sand instead of continuing on with their journey? See, that is the usual custom. Well, then we would arouse the octopus of suspicions if we brought our entire caravan into his camp now. The wind has been rising for hours. He would know that we've been traveling through it and would wonder why. See, you are right. Besides, we don't need many men for the job we have in our hands. The three of us, you, Barney, and myself, would get into the camp, locate the room where the death ray machine is kept, and destroy it before they know there are any strangers in their headquarters. How do you know that? We'll have our faces covered with part of our headdress, Barney to protect our faces from the sand. And that way, if we happen to run into any guards, they won't be able to tell who we are. Yeah, and we'll have the grenades hidden in our robes, huh? Right. These clothes are ideal for our purpose. Yes, but Mr. Barlow, once you use those grenades, you will bring the octopus followers down upon you like a swarm of bees. Are you sure that Captain Rinaldi and the Foreign Legion reinforcements have arrived at their camp nearby so that they'll be able to come to your aid? Yes, Mr. Buchanan. Rinaldi gave me his word that they'd be waiting there. And I know they will be regardless of this storm. Those men are used to such weather. See, you can always depend on the lesion. And the plan was that they'll attack the camp when they hear our grenades going off. Ain't that right, Clint? Yes. And the legionnaires that we leave here with speed, Mr. Buchanan, can join us then, too. Meantime, they'll stay here. Now, I'm going to tell them the new plans now. And we'll leave for the octopus camp immediately after. Clint, can't I go with you? No, speed. Not this time, but don't you worry. We'll be back. I hope so. Good luck. You've got to take good care of Mr. Buchanan, kid. He's our star witness against the octopus, you know. And we can't have anything happen to him while we're gone. Can we? No. Oh, Speed and I'll get along all right, boys. Now, don't you worry about that. You just see that you come back soon. Oh, we shall, Senor Buchanan. You bet. And now, let's go, boys. The sooner we leave, the sooner we'll be back. Well, goodbye. 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 Right. Good goodbye. 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 They only do come back. Well, here we are in camp, and no one spotted us yet. In fact, I haven't seen anybody. Have you, Clint? No, but keep your eyes open. If you do see anyone, look as if you're on some sort of business. You take the lead from here on, Carlos. 
You lived here at the Atlantean base for several weeks. You know your way about. Well, I did before the octopus took it over, Clint. He may have changed things around. Ah, but that building over there is the radio hut. And that big one, the main dining room for the workers. And that... Ah, but that is a new one, built since I was here before. Clint, do you reckon that's where the octopus keeps his death ray machine? That building has a dome roof and looks like part of it slides back. Much as I can see through this sand. Yes, it'll bear investigation, Bonnie. Oh, look out. Here comes someone. Get busy. Pick up that case, Bonnie. And let Carlos do the talking. Yep. Hey, what you do here? We do work for Master. Oh, no. We ain't too bad. You go inside. Yes, uh, we go now. We must keep lookout for secret police. Phew. That was a close shave. But he told us to go in. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Come on, boys. Let's go inside that new building. I have a hunch that's the one we're looking for. Yeah, and I hope we don't run into the octopus before we get a chance at the death ray machine. Come on. You all right, Mr. Buchanan? Yes, Speed, but I can't say the same for you. I, you've been as nervous as a cat ever since your uncle left. Hey been gone an awful long time, haven't they? Well, they can't move too quickly, Speed. They might give themselves away. I know, but just the same, it's awful just sitting here and waiting. They might need our help right now. We wouldn't know anything about it. No, no, you you mustn't get so upset. Yeah, but I keep thinking, suppose Captain Minaldi and the rest of the Legionnaires haven't arrived at the meeting place yet. Clint, Barney, and Carlos wouldn't stand a chance in that camp without reinforcements. I know, but Rinaldi assured your uncle that he'd be there. Sure, he promised. But anything can happen on the Sahara, even the Legionnaires. <laughs> now, now, Speed, worry never helped any situation. I know that. And that's why I'm going to go to the octopus camp and see what's happening there. No, no, Speed, you can't go. Your uncle gave you strict orders to remain here. Yeah, but I'm not following his orders right now. You'll be safe here, Mr. Buchanan, with them legionnaires to guard you. But I'm leaving. I can't sit here any longer and not do anything. I've got to Speed! Go. Speed! Come back here! Speed! Clint. Clint. Does it not strike you as strange that we have not seen a soul since we entered this building? Not exactly, Carlos. Yet this is where the death ray machine is kept. I imagine that the octopus has issued strict orders to keep out. Hmm. And what's he going to say if he spots us? He isn't going to. If we can help it. This building seems to be a maze of passages and halls. We're no sooner out of one than we're in another. That's one more reason why I think we found the hiding place of the machine. It would be impossible to reach it quickly unless one knew the exact spot where it rests. Now, the octopus must have had that in mind when he caused this place to be built. He gave his invention every possible protection. But we seem to be working into the center all the time, so I guess we'll eventually get there. Yeah. Hey, look. There's a door ahead. Well, that's the first door we've seen since the one we entered by. Everything else has been open archways. Ah, so it is. Clint, do you suppose we're on the verge of finding it? I don't know, but get those grenades ready. Keep one in your hand, but hide it in the folds of your robe should you see anyone. I am. I too. Open the door, Clint. Remember, if we see anyone inside this room, let Carlos do the talking. Look. The death ray machine. And the room is empty. Quick, inside. Close the door. Boy, oh boy. If the octopus could see us now. There sits his precious death ray machine. And here we are, bristling with hand grenades. Pipe down, Barney. Before we do anything... We've got to plan our escape, if any. It will be difficult because of these passages. Yes. After we toss the grenades and make sure the machine is destroyed, we'll have to make a run for it. There'll be others running, too, there's no doubt of that. Now, perhaps we'll be able to mingle with them and thus escape detection until Rinaldi and the Legionnaires arrive. How long will it take them after they hear the explosion of the grenades? Only minutes. Then I'm for heaving the grenades and taking it on the lamb to mix up with the octopus gang. They'd never find us in a million years in all these sheets we're wearing. Oh, yes, but I tell you, we've got... I want to be beside the machine the moment the plane is sighted, Zaboul. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The octopus. Zaboul, who are these men? I do not know, Master, since her faces are covered. We are slaves, Master, who sought shelter from the storm, and being blinded by sand, 
entered the wrong building. You are not blinded by sand along the passages, were you? By the time we had recovered our sights, we had completely lost our way and wandered about until we found ourselves in this room. Uncover your faces, dogs, that we may look upon you. Yes, but first we shall approach you so that you may recognize us quicker. Wait. Stand where you are. The moon. I believe we have caught some enemies. But... How could they have entered? The storm caused great confusion. That and preparations for the coming of the secret police have... The secret police? You! That's right. We finally have tracked you down, Octopus. You, Barlow! You dare to be here in this room with my machine? Tamul! Have they harmed it? I shall see, Master. Well, Barlow... We meet again, Octopus. And this time you shall not escape. Escape? I did not know I was your prisoner. You do now. Ah, Dunlap too, eh? Then the third member of your band must be Del Valle. <laughs> a nice little hall for us, Zabul. Look your way toward the door, boys. So we'll be out of the range of any flying fragments from these grenades. See, Clint. You approach me, eh? Do you wish to examine me more closely, Barlow? Just because of you that I am crippled, maimed. <laughs> ah, but I will have my revenge. Oh, yes. When I have finished with you, I shall look for the boy, Speed Gimp. You'll never find him. No. Sabul, what of the machine? They have not harmed it, Master. Ah, good. Then call the guards. I want these men in chains while I arrange a fitting death for them. Yes, Master. That'll bring the guards on the double quick, Clint. We gotta work fast. Stand where you are. Come no closer or I'll shoot you in your tracks. Oh, no, you won't. But... Because I've got you covered, Mr. Octopus. Speed! Quick, Silas. I'm just too jumped to hear the guards. Get out of that no, room. No, no, Speed, you don't understand. Oh, why did you come here? We've got to do what we came here for, Clint. We can't wait any longer. Sabul, these men are armed. Disarm them. I come, Master. Clint, we haven't got much time. I know, I know. Speed, get in here behind me. Pull the pin, boys, and aim well. Okay, what are you doing? Sabul, stop them! Grenade! My machine! My machine! Oh, 